here we are again with a new version of Visit Mocap Monocular version 2, 0.21. In this version, we've got some nice up changes. And one important thing is now it can work without a GPU card. You can work on a notebook without a GPU. It works fine now. So let's go right from the beginning. Uh, we have to set up a path. So let me create one here. Um, mono routine. It's raining a lot here. I hope you, it doesn't bother you guys. Let's select a video. And this is a small one. Nice. Now we have to save the blend file. That's very important. Let's save it. Uh, here, it doesn't matter the name. And now we have the options. You have to download those files, PKL and FBX file from the SPM website. You sign in over there. You can click here to download those files. I already done that on the previous tutorial. I go through this process, but let's just import it. I have them on a folder right here. Let me load it and load the other one. Okay, now you can extract the key points, which is get the pose estimation from the video and to be used to create the mocap. It's fast because it's very small video. Now we're going to create the animation based on the annotations from the videos we just did one step ago. It opens another Blender and the console panel so you can see what is going on with the process. I'm going to pause it because it takes a little bit, probably about one to five minutes in this video. And as soon as it finishes, I'll come back. Now you can see it's saving the animation. And as soon as it finishes, we can go to the other part where we can import that data inside Blender. And we can also see on the console what it's doing. And as a small animation, it came very quickly. In this version, I made some changes. Now you don't have to remove the animation from the root bone. It usually is wobbly. Now I've done it. I also changed the orientation. You can see now it's facing the up position correctly. And I made it play only when you have the keyframe. So you don't have to change the end keyframe for the animation to review it. And basically, that's it. Just a couple of things to consider. If you have problems using this add-on, any kind of error, make sure you're using the portable version. I received some feedback and for now to use it without a problem, you go to download and pick up this version, this portable version. Then you just have to unzip it and click on blender.axe to, to load Blender and it will probably work fine for you. Another important thing is if you can support us, you can go to our Patreon and pick up any tire possible. It will help us a lot to keep developing and supporting you guys. And you can get into our Patreon and no, not Patreon also Patreon, but also the Discord, where we can talk a lot and help better on the issues you're having with the add-ons. That's it for now. Hope you enjoy it. Have a good time. See you next time.